we got the, the walls going up upstairs here. Um, a couple things to note. The way the marking is set up in this in this particular configuration is we have our A log right there in that corner for the sake of consistency. So that's A, that one's B, and then C jumps over to over to this wall here in the clockwise you know fashion. D, E, and F. So the problem with that is that <clears throat> this corner over here, if you set A down first, then before you can finish that corner joint, you have to get the whole the rest of the row, of the row set, set in place before we can do that corner. So in a situation like this, what, what I like to do is actually start on this, even though it's not A, start with, in this case, C. This is C right here. It allows us, it allows us to start here at, at the, sort of the end of the, the edge of the wall and then go across and around and then end over there. So you don't have to always follow the, the A, A, B, C, you know, exactly. Um, sometimes it makes sense to, to start with a letter, um, you know, farther down the line just for the sake of, of keeping things more simple. Otherwise you're jumping from there and then back over here and then you know finishing there again. So um, you know, different of course different uh, models and different configurations will will, will have different uh, marking layouts but in this case the best law to start with is C. So that's what we're gonna be doing. That's what we've been doing as well. So another thing another thing to note um, <clears throat> this particular model and, and other models as well but uh, well, there's there's no loft out here in this obviously the sort of the, the bolted area. Um, it becomes really really high to work off of uh, ladders. So um, you know there's, a, there's an eight foot ladder that you can get most of the, most of the way up, but after you know uh, you can only you can only reach so high with a ladder. So um, scaffolding is a really good a really good uh, idea to put into this vaulted area so we can reach up and and actually uh, you know be able to reach these safely and and to, to, to so you can see Wayne is kind of hanging off the side of the, the wall there so we got scaffolding coming right now we're gonna set scaffolding up in here um, you can usually rent scaffolding from rental rental places pretty easily or you can build some scaffolding you could build like a platform out here to walk on but uh, it's a good idea to have something to, to work up high so you're not climbing on the, the walls obviously or um, you know extending yourself on the ladder so Scaffolding is going to be really nice here in a minute to have to get that side over there done. All right, so we're jacking that wall over there, that window over there. I don't know if you probably can't see it from there, but. Yeah. We're using this crossing log, this full length log, just to straighten out these three walls that are shorter, because they're, you know, kind of leaning out or, or uh, too close together. So we jack that, that window, and then we're manipulating this end to get, to get it where we want it here, and then we can have leverage by moving this top log after that's screwed in. So okay. now, now that, now that that's, all, that's all screwed down, I can come right here and we could pry it out with yeah, leverage yeah. like that. Okay, back which way? Towards us, the top. Okay, but see, I got them right on here. So we're gonna have to, it's gonna have to, it's gotta turn, you know okay. what I mean? Gotcha. Which, Actually, I really, I, the closest thing I can do is a foot though, so I'd say come back a little bit faster yeah. and then it'll equalize. What do you want right there? Okay, oh nice. I mean it's it's honestly fine yeah, in here. Cool. You can you can go go right there too. Okay, now I move that guy. Right, it's not gonna move. Just go a couple more in there. Sure you don't move. I can't. It's time to go. Nice. Do another, do another one. Okay, sweet. Perfect.
Alright, we've got both of the roof line logs, which is this top, the very last log of the wall. We have our roof line log down there that's done, and this one up here is now done. You can see this uh, flat or the, the angle cut on the on the top here for our, our dormer roof. So the wall the corners are all done. Um, all that's left now is our gables, which are the triangles on the end. There's one right here where I'm sitting, and one on that end. And it's just a, the tra the last peak of the roof is only gonna be you know, maybe a few feet tall in this case. So we're gonna go down on the ground now. We're gonna build that that gable on the ground and we'll put it up here, uh, lift it in, in place in one piece. Well, two pieces, one on each end. But so once we're done with this, uh, screwing this together, then we just have the gable ends. Then we'll put in our, our log roof purlins and um, a few other small details and then we'll be done. So um, we'll do that next. Okay, so we've got our roof line logs in place. You can see there we've got our I think this is a two foot overhang here, a two foot overhang there. Um, so the, the last piece is the, the gable, uh, the two gable log gables on the top here. So that top roof line log is row 24. So our first log is this one right here, which is 25. And we have one of them is going to be, uh, we have a 25A and a 25B. And once we're to this the gable, the point of the gables, there's only two, uh, two letters in the, in the row, A and B. 25A is right there, 25B is right here. We're gonna put 26B on top of 25B, right here. We're gonna glue it. So uh, make sure we make sure the, that they're oriented the, the right way, which is pretty simple. They're they're written from the same direction, so those go together there. And then we'll screw it down, and then put the next one on top. Have a rebar right here. Good. There's 26B. Um, if we have these little, little, these little chunks right here, there's a short piece in the end. If there's a, a notch cut out here, um, this one, will, this one here will be marked the same as this one. This one's 26B, and then this is also 26B. Um, if you have a notch like this separating the two, uh, you just, I just uh, pair it up with the, the same number, making sure our our uh, angle cuts here are nice and and. Uh, flush right there and then we'll just use these the ledges on the sides to line up the edge here or the, to line up this end side to side we'll use these ledges on the side I go for it so this particular model the gables are really short because of the um, the dormer here so there's only a couple logs per per gable on some of the other models you might have a much taller gable if it's you know steep and tall. Um, it might be smart to do it in like two sections, um, but in this case it's so tiny we're just going to put them together, put it together right here. I think it's like yeah three rows, maybe four. Here's the third one, which is pretty much it. And then there's one more little piece on the top here that will finish up the the peak. So pretty pretty simple here. And uh, yeah, actually that is that is the ridge pole. This is the ridge pole tenon right here, or the ridge pole mortise right here. Um, this last piece comes up like this, which is one of these 28B right here. This will cap off the very top, which is right here. There's our entire gable. Uh, blue. Uh, that. There, uh, hang on, it's actually not, it's gonna go that way. Um, okay. Because, this is put in after the fact here. Yeah, go for it. You always wanna make sure this is flush before you make, before this is flush, because this is not necessarily, um, not necessarily correct here. This is put in after, the, after this is cut, so always make, wanna make sure this is flush over here. Okay, next we've got 25A. All right, so to pick these up, we're gonna make sure our hooks are up on the same log. Let's go up to 26. 
go up one more to the that chunk there. Yeah, right there, right here. And uh, let's make sure they're nice and, and tight. This one's really small and, and light, but maybe tap these in so they're nice and solid. And uh, it's really solid. So this one first. Now this is 25B. So B, uh, just keeping the same consistency, A will be on this front corner where it's been the whole way up. If you look right here, you can see that A has stayed in the same spot the whole way up. A, 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 and then up on top you can see A, 22A at the very top there. And then A, the, the A gable will be right on top of this wall right here. So B is on that side in this case. Um, that gable is going to go right here. So, But one really important step here is we're going to take our rebar. We're going to put it into the receiving hole. So there's a hole you know, from this first gable log that goes into this, this top log here. And uh, it's, it's going to be a hole without a, a pilot hole next to it. It's right here. There's probably only one in this log here. And we're going to put that in just as far as it'll go. And uh, leave it sticking up just like that. And then we're going we're to slide our gable. There's a hole right there in our gable log right here and we're going to uh, slip that over top so um, we gotta glue it first though want to make sure we turn this thing the right way this one's pretty pretty uh, obvious we've got our steep side here we'll meet up with our steep side on this side but sometimes uh, if it's the same pitch then you need to make sure that your your marking on top of, of the of the uh, gable is Oriented from the inside to where you know where it's written re where you're reading it from the inside of the house All right, we're gonna go down really slow here now You don't have to you don't have to build your gables in one piece if you have a you know Smaller loader or something you're, you're doing it with you can totally put it up in place, but this is a kind of just a faster uh, More efficient method. So here's our hole here We're gonna go really very, very carefully here and uh, line those up Usually the gables heavy enough to push this right on onto the rebar in this case, this is not very heavy, so it may need some some help. Let's just go a little more. Hey, okay, hope. Let's stop there. Keep your fingers from underneath, out from under this thing. Okay, we're gonna sledge it with this sledge here. Can you, can you tilt it out a little bit, Isaac? Uh, it's off right now. It's off. If I I know. Yeah, Just a little go. bit. Okay. That's on there. Okay. Now, with that rebar, we know that this is lined, uh, line in, in place. And then uh, we'll just make sure that our our saw cut, lima cuts are all in place on both sides here. So, there we go. And now we'll just put screws in as far up as we can. Obviously we can't screw in here, but we can get through the mortise right here. We can put a screw in through there and then up here and, and uh, be just, Wait, just good. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna slip it over the same way here. This way a little bit. Okay, there. Oh, 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 oh. Up a little bit. Uh, my way. Oh, okay, push it, push it my way. Oh, right there. Oh, back towards you. Oh, right there, down slow. He needs a sledge. Yeah, yeah I could go slightly, a little bit. Might actually, oh, oh. oh, there you go. Well, we could actually let that side down. Here, keep going. We'll let this back side down. You want to let the back side down? Yeah, it's gonna like I'm saying this have, side down. I don't know, you're gonna have enough force Well, okay, no. maybe not. Here. No. Yeah, we're scared, I get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go keep down a little more. You keep going, it's bouncing. Okay, now let's put, take, take it down. Keep a little more. The thing is it's it's leaned like this, so now it'll, now it'll go, go a lot easier. <laughs> Okay, next I want to do the uh, this outside the beam out here, number seven.
Okay, now here's a little trick. What we can do in this case is we can put a screw straight up in this window into the gable. That's good, nice and solid. Okay, so all right, we've got our gables in. The next uh, next step is gonna be putting these, there's three roof beams, but before we do that, we'll come out here. There's a beam that goes across our overhang right here. It's just a, the bottom cord of a decorative, little decorative truss. And uh, before we put our purlins in up there, we'll put, we'll put this in. And again, with this, same as with the, the, with the um, loft joists, any beams that that are um, you know roof beams, purlins, any, anything like this, we've got a, a seven. I think that's a seven. Yeah, it's seven. Yeah, seven. It's upside down over here, but um, we have a seven there and a eight here. So it's seven, seven, eight, a blue number. So we'll come down here, and uh, here's our here's eight, and there's seven. So I'll just, yep, hook it straight up, perfect. And we'll put this in right there. This is the exact same thing as our loft joists. We're just going to uh, drop it right in place here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Hey, get yours in first. Put our dowel in here. Here's our notch, we're gonna put this purlin in. It goes from here to over there, across. There's a mortise here and a mortise over there. This side's a 10, you can see there's a, there's a 10 in blue with a circle around it. There's also a, one up here. It's usually marked in a few different places um, with a circle around it. The circle is key. If it's not circled, like here it says um, 21C, whatever that is, this is, this is the mark for this log, the actual label of this log. So make sure we're looking at the right thing, which is a blue, a blue mark. It'll be a number. So 10 with a circle. So 10 goes this, on this side, and the other side over here is 9. So we have 9 and 10. So now when we go out there to our purlins, we got to use those two numbers to, to orient this in the right, to, to set this pitch right. This roof here is a 12-12 pitch or uh, whatever the case is, you know, it, this top one is flatter, this one's steeper. We're going to have to hook our log with that pitch. When we drop it in, it'll go in at the right pitch. Obviously, if it's not tilted right, it'll bind up in our, our uh, square mortises. So 10 on this side, 9 on this side. So we need to keep that in mind to, to help us um, orient the, uh, the actual purl in the right way. Okay, so here's our, our purlins. You can see the 10 right here, 10 right here, and nine over there on the other end. So if you look at this log here, so we, had, we had 10 on the left, nine on the right with the pitch coming down towards me. So, um, so we're gonna turn it so that it has that approximate pitch. It's, it's pretty much just an eyeball thing. We know that that's pretty steep, it's about a a 12, it's a 12-12 in this case, which is actually a 45 degree angle. We're gonna eyeball a 45 degree angle here and hold it with this, and then we'll, uh, we'll hook it up. Um, it's critical to get these, you know, you take the time to, to turn them the right, turn them so they're, so they're nice and, and uh, you know, not, you know, crooked or, or up, you know, one side, like that side's too low. Let's drop it down again, readjust. Uh, it can take several times of hooking and rehooking to, get the angle right. You want it to be fairly level. One side lower than the other is, is actually good. Like this is about perfect. That side's down slightly, so that's just, uh, that'll be perfect, yep. <clears throat> Our angle is a little bit flat, I think, but I think it's gonna be good. All right, now, one last step before we put this purlin in, take some of our gasket uh, tape. We're going to strip a piece off. We want to put this in, into our mortise um, up the side, especially on the bottom, like this. 
like that. Um, for sure across the bottom, but up the sides, that'll help insulate this joint. We, um, we'll just put this gasket in here like this, lay it in uh, up the side and across the bottom. And then uh, same thing on that end. You're supposed to know what you're doing. Just kidding. It's up the side. Yeah, that's good. Right there, yeah. All right, you see these uh, notches? See it go in here? Perfect. Perfect. First pearl in installed here. You can see it's nice and nice and flush here. Um, we'll put we'll put two screws in each side um, to, to to pull it down in place. Make sure it's nice and solid. Nice, that pulled it down in place pretty good. So we're nice and straight there. So we'll do one more. After the purlin's installed, most of the time we'll have a little, there's a little piece right here, like a triangle that's that's missing, and that's where these little chunks come in, into play. So this log right here is 21C. So the chunk that's going to be going right right against the purlin here on the other side of this of this cutout. Um, is the same exact number. So there's 21C, there's this log here, this is also 21C, plus we have a 10 here, and this is our 10 purlin. So there's a few different ways to figure out where this goes. It should just go right in here like this. There's a little cut, a little uh, alignment cut. I usually just put this in after the purlins are installed and uh, slide them in like this. And then you can either nail it or, or use like some small screws. Um, you gotta be careful, they like to break sometimes. So use like some some short small screws like this and uh, screw it down and so one here one over there there you go Isaac yeah yeah really sure we'll be first. up here we've already put the, the gable chunks what we call these uh, we put those in when we were building these gables on the ground. Those are really big up, up on top, but we put them in beforehand, which is fine. So now we just gotta drop these two purlins in and one purlin and one ridge pole, and this upper structure will be done. So putting the uh, put the tape in the mortise. So our ridge pole log, we're gonna hook it the same way um, as like this one, but we're gonna keep that the peak just straight up and down. It's very straightforward, just flat with the with the peak up on the top and uh, We'll drop it in. Okay, after the purlin's installed and screwed down, we've got our gable chunk in. We're gonna take our foam, our corner foam, we're gonna fill up around any spot you can get the straw into, which is usually both the sides here. I'm just gonna put it in there as far as we can. And uh, this can is really slow, but I'll fill it up as much as we can here. And it'll just seal off the joint, keep bugs from getting in and cold air and everything. Come down here, same thing. Sometimes it's better to put this in before the gable trunk goes in. Sometimes the gable, the gable trunk can actually sort of seal off the, to where it's hard to get the straw in there, but uh, the straw in there like that. Fill it up as much as possible. All right, we got our first pearl in. We're gonna do the same thing for these last two. It's gonna drop them in place. And uh, really simple, these are, this is the fun part after all the, walls are done. All right, we've got our purlins installed here, a ridge pole, two purlins. So the next thing on this particular model, we have a little post with, with two braces um, for a little sunburst, just a decorative piece here. So that post goes right to the ridge pole, right there, you can see a flat. You can see it's pretty faded, but it says post A. So there's really only one uh, thing it could be. It's pretty apparent, but um, it'll be a post with a, with a dowel hole in the end. So right here, here it is, it's got an A on the end, like that, with a couple holes. So, um, 
the orientation of this is, is you have, just have to kind of um, kind of look at it. We've got we've got two braces coming off of it, so we have a C on the side here and with a little flat. That's where our, our uh, little sunburst braces will come off, one on each side, a B and C, the dowel hole. So we know this is down and that side's up. So we're going to um, lift this in place. Okay, we haven't, we're gonna use the crane, this thing's really heavy. We're just gonna put one hook on it here. Um, you'll be very careful with this when you're doing uh, things that are, you know, less, uh, less than recommended. We're gonna put one hook here and uh, and then we're just going to tap this in with our hammer and then to be really careful stay out from underneath it here um, a better way to do it is to probably strap it but that'll work we're just going short distance there's a, um, a flat spot here with an a in a circle a b in a circle so the a center right here we'll just put this right on top of that it's pretty clear spot here and then ah uh, you don't have to okay unhook it uh, you go okay so we're gonna have to slide it in yep, we have to pull it back go I'll get you a new doll here we got the post in uh, you gotta tap the post that way a little bit. It's, uh, the, the hole is off. The... Maybe there somewhere. Try the dowel. Once those dowels go in, and you know that it's, uh, it's seated in the right spot, and that's really what all they're for is for alignment. So right here, we can see on this purlin uh, overhang, there's a C right there. So our first brace will go from this post up to that, that uh, flat there. On this side, we have what's called a false purlin, and you can see there's a, a notch in the wall right there with a 15. There's a um, there's a dormer here, so we're we're basically creating a false overhang that that ties into the side of that wall. So there's going to be a, a short purlin. There's one on both sides here, two of them. Um, that's going to just go into that wall, and then it's going to be held up by a brace that will go up and meet the, that purlin, um, and then also the roof structure will hold it in place. So. Um, We'll put this side in first, the C side, uh, and we'll get that in, in place. And then we're going to put the B side in and, and attach it at the bottom. Then we'll put in our false purlin here. On this brace here, the bottom end is going to have a dowel in, in the top right there. So you want, want to have put that hole up um, and then just hook it halfway in the middle. And uh, that will hang at an angle, just like that go right in. To screw these in place we'll just toenail a couple of tens or sixes, about two in each, two in each end, so. It's kind of probably from the bottom. Okay. Well, um, okay, come back up. All right, we're gonna put this one in. This one is just gonna be kind of uh, flying out in the in the space here for a minute. We're gonna put this this end down. Oh, we're upside down. Okay, we're gonna roll it. This. Okay. All right, so we're gonna set this in like this. We've got a dowel hole right here on top. We'll put that in first into our receiving hole there. Okay. All right, just like that, perfect. Okay, now that we're up, um, we wanna put a couple screws straight down. Okay, lower a little bit, Isaac. Right, a little bit lower. Oh, what's he doing here? Okay, right there. 
I'm going to put the screw straight down here. Okay, the screw should actually, if you put a couple of these in straight down, it should hold it up enough to, uh, should stay there yep now that'll be good I'm gonna put one more in like this straight in the back to just help support it our false purlin is gonna sit in that mortise right there and out and on sit, sit on top of our little uh, brace there we've got our uh, couple false purlins so I've got two of them. This one's 16, 16 here and 15 here. And uh, for these, we're just gonna hook it just like a regular purlin with the angle, um, the same as uh, regular, you know, any other purlin we're gonna install. This is a 12, 12, so it's pretty steep. And uh, I'll just hook it right here. Just like that, it's a little bit too steep. go okay I'll just set it right in place now I'll get up there too there go in a little bit there you go okay okay you get there I don't know yep it's on. Okay. okay bells okay in you got this you sure it's in there. Push up underneath here. Yeah. So we may want to put a brace, like a temporary board, underneath here to hold this up before it. Till this roof, once the roof goes on here, it'll hold it in place. But we're going to put a temporary post underneath this purlin to hold it up. We can do a couple different things. We could put a board across here, nail it to here, nail it to here to hold it, or we could do a uh, one from here to here, just some kind of a brace. Like a two by four. Actually, what we can do is we'll use one of our uh, we'll use one of our three by threes here. Here, Isaac, let's put this right underneath there until it gets tight. Then we can put a yep. nail underneath, just like, this. just like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, kind of at an angle. That's a sad length. <laughs> That'll work though. Let's put a nail on the bottom here, attack it. Okay, I can hear L through the bottom. There you go. Top. Oh, you got one? I can get it really good here. That's the first one here up front. It's, this one's a little, little bit easier because we have this, because uh, we had the brace holding it up. Let's go to the back side and look at that one. And uh, this, that one's going to be a little bit different. Um, this one just, ha just has nothing underneath it. It's just, it's just kind of floating up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in to the wall and we'll put a brace down to the wall, just a little, little angle stabilizing brace. And then that one is completely just uh, a decorative purlin. Once this roof goes on out here, that, that roof will actually hold the purlin in place. Um, it, the purlin is doing nothing but hanging there. If there was no purlin there, then it would look weird with a purlin over here and then nothing over here. So we put that decorative piece in there to just really um, sort of make it everything look symmetrical over here. So um, this one's a little more tricky, but still not, not too bad. Got my little brace right here. We're just going to stick it in the wall. Um, it's kind of it's kind of tilted the wrong way, isn't it? It's leaning down. What we'll do is we'll get it in the wall here. And then we're going to unhook that unhook that first uh, that one there. Right. Okay. Yeah, unhook it. Oh, now back up. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll get um, yeah, put that dowel in. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to come. Um, we'll look at this from two different directions. We want to sight from this roof line up 
to get these flats pretty close to, to straight from our ridge pole flat down to our roof line flat. First, what I want to do is I want to stand back like this and I want to eyeball that. Um, I want that thing to be coming off the wall straight. Isaac, push it to the right a little bit, or away from you a little bit. Okay, about right there is actually good. So we're coming off straight. Now we just need to go up and down until, we're, until we have a straight line of sight from our roof line here okay. up in there. So I'll move my ladder back here. I'll sight it. And once we're there, and actually we're literally perfect right there. I'm sighting up and it's a straight shot right all the way up. So right there, I'm gonna put my brace on underneath and just uh, just like this. And what would work really well for this is actually like a, like a screw, like a T25, but this will work too. And a nail right here. Um, you know what you should do first, guys? You can screw it in, and then I'm gonna side it. Okay. Because it's gonna pull. You want to pull it in. So when you put these screws in, you want to try to angle them towards the house so that it sucks it in. Like there's, there's a little gap here. All right, we got our false pearl in here. It's if you side it up here, it's nice and straight with our roof line. So. That's good. Once we put the roof on, we'll, uh, the roof will hold that actually in place. The last thing we're doing here is gonna, we're going to put this ridge or this uh, porch header up on the outside edge of our uh, our porch or patio in this case. Um, this particular model has no railing. There might you might have um, railing you know, depending on the configuration. You might have log railings, and there would be holes in the in these posts. But in this case, they're just um, they're just round posts. The way we're going to set it up is as um, from with our with our clockwise with our uh, courses, the first post we come to is going to be A. So we're starting in that corner or in that that wall. We're coming around over here. This is the first post. This is going to be post A, or usually it's A. Maybe it might be B if there's other posts that are marked A in the house. But usually it's the first the first post that we have, which is in this case A. So A is right here. The top will have a couple of flats, little flat cuts on either side. That goes up, and uh, so we stand these up like this. And we're going to set, for now we're just going to put one in each corner. So one here and one over there. And then once this header is in place, we'll put the other two up. So let's get a, it's going to be D. We got our porch header here, we're going to make sure it's turned the right way. We have our flat on the bottom, other flats for our posts. So we're going to rotate this thing so that, so that our flats underneath are level and our pitch is just, um, you know, the pitch of the porch, which in this case is like a 2 or 3 12. Um, so uh, this is going to be tilting that way. Okay. So, yep, there you can see we've got a slight angle this way. Underneath here, our flats are pretty much level like that and uh, it's perfect so we'll swing it in place here so our, our first two posts will usually line up with the corner so right off the wall here is a post and over here right off the corner just on the corner straight out there's a post on the top here there's usually you're gonna have a um, here we have an alignment mark it's just a sharpie line and this, this side we have two lines two vertical lines on the other side over here we have one vertical line so we can use that here's just one we can use this to to dictate which way this post is rotated based on what is on the, the, the porch header above here which we'll we'll see here so up here we've got a, a single alignment mark on the on the left on the outside so on this on my post here I'll, I'm gonna spin this around so that I have a single line on this side as well that's how we'll orient these posts Okay, all right, once we have it uh, sitting here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna hold it in place. Okay, so once we have it sitting here, we're just going to adjust. We wanna keep the crane or whatever, keep it hooked so it doesn't fall over. And uh, we're gonna align our, our alignment cuts here. We can actually screw our top in. Um, so I'm going to 
I'll grab a drill, put a yep. screw through the top here. So the way we're gonna tell if this is in place uh, this way. Okay, alignment's off. Basically we can sight along our, our uh, overhang logs to this, it should be a straight line, you know, just straight out. So right now we're this way about two inches. And so uh, we're going to we need to move it that way just a little bit here. We're going to put a brace right here first. Okay, now put one in there, yep. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here like this. I'm going to sight this thing. So pull it towards you about six inches, not quite six, but four inches. More, 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 more. Okay, hang on. Let's bring our bottoms in a little bit here. Should be about right there. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball it from, the, from distance away and uh, out a little bit. Right, uh, right there. Okay, good. Yeah, let me sight the end here real quick. Yeah, about three inches this way. Okay. So let's kick the... Let's put a cross brace like this. Steven nail bro. Here. Here, I go, uh, here. Here, hold this, I need to go sight it. So this this one here, we want to make sure that we're right on before we nail that. So Okay, we gotta go towards you. Can you, can you pull the top that, that way, like tilt it? Right there, hope. Oh, stop. Now hang on, Isaac. I gotta tap this over as well. <clears throat> this was an easier way to do these. Okay. Sight that. You can usually sight this with the corners. Just kind of eyeball it straight and nail it. Okay. Now we're good left to right, at least on this on this end. Okay, we're, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Pretty good. Okay. Um, now just one more one more brace up to there. Let me measure this. The line we got 70. This post is a lot bigger than that one, so this is going to be out to the edge, but that side needs to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. So this one is actually, I'm in an inch from the edge here, but it's two inches bigger than this side. So I actually want to be like an inch. I mean, it looks pretty good. I know, but what I'm, you're right, but what I'm saying is this end is out. The top's out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we actually want to bring this in. That's about where it should be right there, I think. And then we'll pull it in just until it's straight. Yeah, a lot, that's pretty close now. So we've got our we've got three braces, two on each end, like this, and one cross brace to keep it from from moving. Once we get our roof on here, it'll be solid as a rock. Um, we're gonna put our other two posts in right now. Here we just match up the letters. All right, we've got all of our posts in now. We got our portrait are up, we got our posts in. Um, I'll beat that one in this way a little bit, kind of towards me. More. Okay, that's good. And uh, for these, we just kind of sight them, get these get them lined up. It's important to make sure that our the ends of our portrait are is, is a nice straight line with our purlins and our uh, overhang here, nice and, and straight there. So, and uh, that's the log set. Um, the last step is going to be uh, making sure all our purlins are foamed, make sure everything's been screwed together, just check back over and make sure we got, you know, we, we remember to put screws in all of our purlins, um, all the posts, and um, that's the log set. Stage one is complete. Next step is going to be starting on the roof and um, getting the, the roof on and dried in.